Let me tell you something you already know. I'm Dave Kirloff, languageofhitting.com. What I want to talk about today is how to reach your highest hitting potential. Here are three elements you got to understand that's going to help you reach your highest hitting potential. Number one, begin to realize the pitcher is trying to mess up your timing and mess up your spatial acuity. Number two, stop trying to smash the ball. Learn about the code the elite hitters were born with, which is this. The eyes swing the bat, not your hands, not your shoulders, not your hips. The body follows your eyes. Okay, let's unfold point number one, where the pitcher is trying to mess up your timing and a pitcher is trying to mess up your spatial awareness, your spatial acuity. It's rather simple. The pitching coach tells his pitcher, get the batter out. And this is how we're going to do it. Throw one fast, throw one slow. That's going to mess up his timing. Throw one inside, throw one outside. It messes up his spatial awareness and his spatial acuity. If you really stop and think about it, when was the last time a coach criticized a player when the, or a hitter when a hitter got a curveball and says, oh, you know what, you're flying open, or you know what, you're dipping on the curveball? No, usually when you get full by a curveball, it is because of your timing. Same thing with the contrast between a, a fastball and a changeup. Does a coach ever criticize you because you know what, you're fooled by the changeup and you pulled your head out? No, as a hitter, I need to be able to manage different speeds and manage different depth perceptions. As a hitter, I need to be able to recognize what position the ball is in now and what position the ball, ball will be in next. And how do I really do that? I manage my, the timing of my vision. Point number two, stop trying to smash the ball. Trying to hit the ball, quote unquote, as hard as you can, in, in reality, distorts your depth perception and it distorts your um, visual acuity. Being a hitting coach for 26 plus years now, this is probably the most common obstacle hitters face. They try to hit the ball too hard. They try to smash the ball. And in the midst of trying to smash the ball and losing um, depth perception and losing uh, visual acuity, they basically lose the clarity of where the ball is going to end up in the flight path. Point number three, learn the code elite hitters were born with. Learn how to swing the bat with your eyes, not your hands, not your shoulders, not your hips, and not your legs. You see, a basic concept in all sports that deals with a, a moving object like a ball, it could be football. When you watch receivers catch balls, the eyes lead the body. Watch a tennis player play tennis. The eyes lead the body. It's no different for a baseball or softball hitter. The eyes are going to lead the body. The body is going to follow where the eyes are taking it. So this is the reality. How do you reach your highest potential as a hitter? You got to work on your timing. You got to work on your visual acuity. You got to stop sh trying to smash the ball. And you got to learn what that code is inside of elite hitters. This is where you begin. I have 26 years of research and test inside the best hitting drill ever, the third and fourth editions, and have 26 years of test and research in the world's greatest hitting formula. This online video series is the place to start to begin to understand what is the code the elite hitters do that the average hitters don't do. I want to inspire you as much as I can to please let's help our hitters to be as good as they can be while they're still young. Don't let uh, time slip by and finally wait to, to get on board when your, your playing days are almost over. The time is now.